a long day, the seasoned campaigner reaches home to a fussing mother. Nani, look honey. No matter how high you fly, trust mothers to bring you down to earth. Hello, Namaskar and welcome to Sikkim Chronicle. So with us is one of the writer of our state, Mr. Tashi Chopil, Josko Bhakare Matra, How to Collect a Folk Tale Book Launch Bakucha. Rahami Sanga Wa Hununcha Waku Kitapko Bare Makehi Kurakani Garnaka Nimti. So hello sir, hello. welcome to Sikkim Chronicle. Uh, is it your first book? Yeah, it is my first book and uh, first of all, uh, hello to everyone and thank you for covering this. Yeah. So, uh, please uh, tell us about uh, this book. Or what is it all, all about? It's a collection of poems, and written uh, written over a period of fifteen years. And uh, these are personal poems, and poems on myths I came across during my course, uh, during my bureaucratic career, where I have worked in many places. So there are many stories from those which have made them into poems. Okay. Uh, how is it the feeling uh, when uh, of being the writer of your first book? It's exciting at the moment, uh, and I feel, uh, in a way, uh, how do I say it? Uh, it feels that uh, a sense of completion is there. That uh, this poems were with me for a very long time, and it, it was always in the back of my mind that someday it will be in a form of a book and now it is out there's a sense of accomplishment okay. uh, do you plan to even like publish again another book yeah i think uh, that will be there but uh, nothing as of now immediately i'll take some time i need to give time to my readers also <laughs> yeah to let them read and then probably if they yeah that's there yeah Okay. Uh, talking about uh, how to collect a folk tale, uh, what, uh, like, how did you get the motivation or the inspiration? Where from? Where did you get the inf inspiration for to write? For the poem or for the entire collection? For the entire collection. Achha. motivation to write, that's always been there. Uh, earlier, I worked as a journalist also. It was a paper called Weekend Review. So uh, before that also I was writing, I was uh, contributing uh, short stories and uh, music reviews to, in my college days, to a newspaper called The Sentinel in SM. So when, they, when I first uh, uh, gave my contribution and they accepted it, it was a huge moment for me that it was, uh, they accepted a work of mine. So it was always there in the back of my mind and during the period when I was uh, working as a journalist, I used to contribute a lot to the features section. So, yeah, so after that, the writing bug continued. So, and as and when I got time or when, when the uh, mood came in, then uh, I would always write. Uh, so, another thing would be, uh, like, is it uh, how difficult it was for you to come up with your first book? Uh, the difficulty was for my publisher, Mr. Raman Shrestha, who published the book. So it wasn't difficult for me, it was probably difficult for him in the sense that uh, it is a poetry collection. And we normally know that poetry collections do not sell. So it was a risk on his part that he had faith in me and he asked me why don't we come out with a poetry collection. So on the production of the book, uh, there wasn't much uh, pressure on me, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, about uh, if we talk about writers, okay, what are, uh, being a writer, uh, what are the challenges that uh, writers from hill areas such as Sikkim uh, faces in today's day? Uh, firstly, I don't think uh, uh, that we can regionalize writers, no? A writer anywhere is a writer. He has to write. So the first thing, the first challenge as a writer is for him to write. He should come out with something nice. And then, yeah, probably in terms of uh, production of the book or some, uh, some company taking up his work, that could be a challenge wherein they have to write to different publishers 
and in most cases normally there would be rejections no so you have to overcome that probably but luckily in my case i didn't have to do that <laughs> yeah okay uh, like to be a writer what is the basic thing that uh, an individual needs i guess you need to have an open mind a mind who is also very observant uh one who can also um, go into flights of fancy yeah uh you should basically be open not be narrow minded you know? so and i think perseverance is very important for a writer okay uh, another thing is like uh, how difficult uh, apart from you like uh, how difficult is it uh, to find a publisher here here in sikkim yes in sikkim uh, we have i think only uh, regional publishing in nepali i think there are some publishers here whereas for english i think this is the first publisher rashna books is the first uh, english publisher who has gone into publication and uh, this is the second book of his uh, so yeah we are looking forward probably to more writers and probably more publishers want to take the Uh, it's a it's any other it's like any other business no there are risks involved and there is profit also involved so basically our you need people who will put in their money in publication and yeah then the rest is up to uh, how the book sells okay how like uh, how can this uh, business publishing business can bloom how can this bloom <laughs> i think one reason is uh, good writing will always sell no because uh, you cannot say that a book will remain closed i mean it will not sell if it is uh, not marketed properly obviously marketing helps but in the end it is the quality of the book and if the book has a good quality it will always sell if you can always uh, i think one good example would be the latin american writers i mean they came from nowhere but their writing was so fresh and so new that it captured the imagination of the world so i guess in the end it's the quality of the book okay uh, quali- uh, if you talk ab- uh, yeah. if you talk about quality of writing mm-hmm. is uh, like today's writer of uh, our state is serving the readers need uh, in terms of writing uh, right now uh, sikkim has an excellent uh, list of writers It, Sikkim is presently blooming when it comes to writing in English. I cannot talk about the Nepali writing, which is uh, very good in its own way. It is brilliant, I think. But in Eng- writing in English, I can talk about that. And yeah, like I've been saying uh, before, also basically two writers brought the limelight into the writing in English. One was Pajwal Parajyoti with his uh, The Gurkha's Daughter, and uh, Chetan Rajshreesta with his King's Harvest. and they were published by both uh, uh, famous publishers one was quirkus and the other was uh, speaking tiger yeah and alif and they did w- really well huh? and what they talked about was of today situation so there there you go there you have good writing there <coughs> and then uh, then we had uh, guru ladaki's book book of poems then we have uh, our local uh, other writers which came in were ashim basnet with this black and white then there was uh, i think uh, nikhil pradhan cold truth he has come out from with harper collins then we have porshuram he has come out with the monk the monk the monk who never was which is another good uh, writing from here so yeah we have a good collection and then we have also um, pankaj giri who has also come out with a, a collection of uh, with his novel so it's a very good time in sikkim and all these writers are writing about sikkim or of the region and uh, we should not again say that the writing good writing is about uh, local writing only local writing has to be there but it has to be uh, a universal story which people can identify with otherwise if you just write a local novel nobody else is going to buy the book So there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so about these writers who yeah. are actually excelling in our own state, right? Yeah. So uh, how what is the success ratio that uh, they are their books are excelling uh, outside the state, state. also? I think uh, Prajal's book 
work has done really well in the sense that it's been translated in so many places. Uh, now it is being translated into French also. So from there you can know whether it's excelled or not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, another question would be uh, in today's time where uh, internet and the online reading, due to internet, online yeah. reading has actually uh, become really trendy. So how uh, is it uh, difficult for the writers uh, who publish books? Is it being difficult because of it? I think you're getting uh, more readers. Ultimately, a writer's dream is to have as many readers as possible, right? Uh, coming back to me, uh, for me, uh, like when I started uh, writing poetry, I was looking at a lot of writers who would not be available in either Sikkim or in India. So for me, Google was the only way. So I would look up websites like uh, Poetry Hunter and uh, there are many other websites. So I used to look up those websites, read those poems, you know, copy, paste, save them and then read them again. So in a way, uh, the, the social media, internet, the internet was a boon for me. So likewise, right now, uh, publishing, uh, publishing a book in its, uh, in its paper form uh, is now becoming a niche market probably, and, but it will never die because people will always want to read a book in, in his hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, for people who like to read it uh, on an iPad or um, on the computer, the Kindle version is always available. So that way you are catering to both the market. So it's not difficult, actually it is good. Okay. Yeah. So uh, ha uh, is your book is also available uh, in the Kindle or in any online version? Uh, the book has just come out, it's uh, been a week. Uh, yesterday we put it online. So now it's available on Amazon and probably after a year after uh, then probably we we'll might go into the Kindle, uh, the Kindle version. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in between I, I would like to ask you like you are a bureaucrat by yeah. profession yeah. right and you have a like a writer version as well in yeah. you. So how, is it difficult for you to balance in between? Yeah writing uh, writing for me isn't full time. Yeah. Uh, for me, my main uh, work is my bureaucracy. Writing is an another life of mine. Um, but uh, but working has given me a lot of experience in in the way of going to different places, meeting different people, uh, looking at their lifestyle. So that has enriched my life, which has now contributed to the writing. So actually, it has been a good marriage, I should say, between my work and my writing. In the same term, uh, is uh, our uh, writers are keep uh, are enough uh, sufficient that they, due to their writing, they can put bread and butter in their table? I don't think so. You have to be a really good. Uh, it has to be a bestseller to be a to be a full time writer. But there are people who have all, uh, who have like given their uh, life to writing also are there. So it's a risk you are taken you are taking, right? But uh, personally, I'd suggest that have something, uh, be comfortable in your life uh, and then write, okay? Otherwise, otherwise, there's another take also that unless there is pain in your life, you can't write. That is also there, but it's up to you. The choice is the, up to the writer, wh which life he wants to lead. Okay. Did you have pain? Uh, no, not exactly. <laughs> I enjoy my life. I enjoy writing and hopefully it has come out well yeah okay. uh, so what do you want to give message to the readers and the writers as well my message with uh, regarding uh, reading uh, i will always say please read because uh, reading is a uh, it doesn't cost much no you can just uh, whenever you are free you can just read and reading gives you a freedom your, it gives you uh, freedom to move wherever you want, right? That is there. And with regarding my book, uh, I hope you enjoy it. And probably I would like you uh, from me to go on to better writers. I'm not such a good poet. Uh, but uh, if you like my poems, then I would like you to read better poets and probably enjoy yourself even more. Thank you. Okay.
Thank you so much. So we had we had a candid conversation with uh, Tashi Chopal, who is pro, uh, bureaucrat by profession and a writer. So uh, to know more, you can also read this book, which is available in Rajna Bookstore. Thank you so much. This is Pajat reporting for Second Chronicle.